Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to disable voiceover option, the double tap that comes into your screen on your iPads. So this is an iPad Air 2. As you can see, whenever I turn it on, it will be able to read whatever I tap on. So this is so annoying that in some cases, you try to enter your password, and this is at times dangerous. You can enter your password very many times, then you get locked out. So I want you to follow these steps very quickly and very simple. This is an option for people with disabilities where they just click on the screen then to be able to tell them what they have pressed. So in our case here, I'm going to show you how to disable this option. So I'm going to enter my password here, which I have just generated, which I'm going to change in time soon. So you have to enter your password in this case. So you click on the home button, then this will take you here. So I'm going to click zero. You, you first select it, then you tap on it, double tap. Then to enter your, your zero. Then I'm going to double tap on this also. Then to be able to put it there, five. I double tap. Then two. Then I double tap. So I need this two again. So in your case, you'll be entering your password. Then I'll double tap on this. So this will open this the app the iPad to this side. And it is telling you double tap to open. So I'll click on settings and I double tap on it. Then this will take me to settings. So right now here, when you're in general, you go to scroll down. Actually, I'm going to scroll by using three, three fingers. So we have this option here, accessibilities. Then you touch on it, then you double tap. Then this will take, a, this will take you to this option here, where you see voiceover. This is the option that brings the, the voiceover thing that is keeping on talking in the background. So you're going to double tap on it. Then you have to select here. Then you have to double tap to disable it. So now I, our iPad has now gone back to normal. As you can see, I can scroll. I can switch it off and enter my password again. And I won't have any issues. Now the iPad is now working very well. So thanks for watching. If this video has helped you, please subscribe to this channel. Click the bell icon in order to get notified whenever I upload useful videos like this. So share this video so that we can reach very many people and help people who have these issues. So thanks for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.